What's up, Sim Races Alert? TJR Sim here. As you can tell, I already cut the box, but got me something in here from Apex Sim Racing here for us to check out. Just a quick unboxing. I'll go into more details on each product as I uh, start doing my review process. So, what do we have here? All right, so we've got the Sim Magic DS8X shifter here. So, I am excited to play with this. As you know, I already have the review on the sequential Q1, so I've been wanting a, a more high-end uh, shifter as well. So we'll cut this up in just a second. And then we have, well, you got to have a matching set, right? So now we got the uh, sim actually, the TBRS. This is the uh, hydraulic handbrake here. And I'm going to use this instead of my Husenfeld handbrake. I've always been curious to see what a hydraulic handbrake feels like. I didn't get the haptic motor for this because I, I'm someone that when just rips rips a handbrake and let's go, I uh, don't really need the haptic vibration. Plus I have motion rig, so the D-Box tells me when my tires are locked up. I feel it in the actual seat of my pants. So I don't really need it in my hand as well. Although I do think that would be cool to feel that gyration in your hand as well. So maybe I'll get that later, later on, but they didn't actually have those in stock anyway. So that was another reason why I didn't get it, but I probably would have added it to cart if it was in stock, but yeah, so there's the handbrake. And then I went ahead and got the, let's see, this should be, things wrap so well. Alrighty, so got the uh, Sim Magic USB, the CAN bus adapter here. So this is gonna plug straight into Sim Magic Alpha U. And then I can plug in all my accessories of Sim Magic in here. It's 16 bucks for these. So I went ahead and picked up one of these. So obviously I can plug in my sequential shifter here, my DX8 here, H pattern, and then my handbrake. And this leaves room for pedals in later. So they got you covered on all of those. So yep, a little bitty box actually. And then I got some brackets. So I'm gonna have my, my, my sequential shifter that I have mounted on one side of my 8020 and then the H pattern shifter over here on the other side. So a nice little bracket they got going on here. Nice aluminum powder coated. It of course comes with all the hardware you need. And I would suggest that you add, if you have a lot of haptics on your system, uh, I would suggest that you add a little bit of uh, rubber, a little 60 thousandths, 30 thousandths. Really I use about a 60 thousandths thick rubber pad on it, which means you need technically a little bit longer screw than what they would provide in some cases. But I was actually able to get the stock ones work on my on my T-slots, but uh, with just a little thin piece of rubber on there. And that's just to knock down some of the vibrations that go through into the shifters. I don't know if it actually, there's no proven effect that it actually would work. Uh, well, harmonics, right? So it should work. But what I've found is that it's not vibrating my shifter as much when I do that. So it's insulating it a little bit, which is a good thing because the D-Box is pretty powerful when it comes to that. All right, here's obviously the other one as well. Show you how it comes packaged. Now I was actually pretty impressed. It's the first time I got some, some gear from Apex. So I, I, I like how they packaged everything. They got their, of course, their logo on the tape, looking good. And everything was secured nicely in there. So loving it. All right, let's start with the uh, TBRS, the hydraulic handbrake here. That's some nice Apex Sim Racing. That's going on my seat. Oh, go this way. That's going on my seat for sure. Love my stickers. Nice seal from Sim Magic. Pull this other one out of the way. Keep the star of the show going here. Typical uh, Sim Magic information. You got a nice little uh, in instructions here. All right, some stickers. You got your hardware that you need. Cables. Actually, this is a braided cable in here. Looks like it's nice. Nice braided cable, I like that. Nice quality too, very good. A little bit of tools in there as well, wrench in there as well, Allen head. It's like a little adapter in there as well. So I'll get into that, I'll show that stuff when I mount it up. And then you have this elastomer kits here that you can use to make it you know, softer or, or harder. And each one of these are just an individual elastomer. Uh, of course you can use these to you know, make it softer, like I said, or harder. So I'll be playing around with that to see what setting I, I like. Uh, red ones are clearly the harder ones. They're they're uh, an elastomer here as well, but they're definitely stronger than than these are. Just from a slight little pinch test, these are quite a bit softer. Those I can't really even push in. So interesting. So anyway, we got three sets of these for different different styles. The blue ones as well. What we got in here? Oh. 
This is cool. Little, oh, this is, goes on to the edge of the handbrake, I believe. Put that back in there. Out of the way, another Sim Magic official sticker. Take this little thing out. What is this little thing in here? Let me see. I can dig my finger in there and get it out so I don't plunge it in further. Digging for gold in here. Another cable, RJ45 cable. Same thing, braided cable, nice. This is another elastomer. This is just a hard one, all aluminum to fit for these. All right, put that back in there. Let's get the box out of the way. This is a beauty. Look at this thing. Nice serial numbered as well. Let's see if we can get this in camera here. Very nice. How does it feel? So this unscrews, looks like. And that other was a cap actually that goes on here that I was talking about. Looks like it comes without the Sim Magic logo cap on there. This out. So it'll go on like that. Make it look nice and snazzy. Don't want to lose any of these. This back here as well. This of course unscrews. I don't know the thread on this one, but you can tell it's quite a long thread. It's actually a fine thread on there as well. Oops, is it in camera? Fine thread in there. Very light handle. The handle I'm not too fond of. It's just real plasticky and it's got a little cushiony grip to it, which feels nice, but it's not my favorite type. But it's better than a sponge, so I do like that better than a sponge grip. But I actually prefer my little bit of a rubberized grip that I have on my Husenfeld. This is beautiful though, how they cut it out to make it lighter looking. Nice silver, or I'm sorry, silver paint with the red, typical red Sim Magic. Here you got your CAN bus here and your power and USB. USB, of course, uh, plug into the PC. And then uh, your power, your CAN bus, if you want to go straight into the box like we have. And obviously the power for the haptic motor if you got one of those. Mounting patterns on the bottom here. So just two is all you get. I'm actually going to mount it like this. So I will reorientate this handle up, which comes to here. You have uh, see this position here, straight up and down. You can rotate it to this position. I get it in camera. Oops. This position or this position. So you have three positions at angles that you can put it in. Obviously you just loosen up this one here, take the screw out, rotate it forward. To whichever one you have so when you set it there on your rig of course the handle straight up right now for here well that there's going to be a, should be the elastomer so let me see <laughs> just in case i'm wrong i'm putting it straight up and down jesus some threads yep so here's the elastomers here so you can tell when you pull this in they would raise up oh i'm just getting the camera here see that raise up oops there you go so that's the elastomer resistance that they have on there a metal one and some several gray ones and then of course the blue one in there several gray ones in here and get it out come on now oh wow so two black three gray and uh four blue with a metal uh washer here which you would use this washer all the time but it also has a little indention in the cap there you can see that accepts yeah. the hole so this is cool and yeah i just said the first time i'm looking at this as well i haven't watched a ton of reviews on these so i am experiencing it with you it's a fine thread on this thing so you want to be sure that you don't cross thread it tighten it back down that's snug hydraulic fluid in there obviously this rotates as well so when you have it straight up and down like this rotate it forward to keep your fluid and your air of course out of there but i don't want to open it up because i don't want to introduce any more air than that's probably already been in there uh now the feel oh wow that feels really good that's the subjective thing right this feels good I do actually feel a hydraulic feel with this. Wow. I feel elastomers. I feel some pretension of the elastomers at first. And then I feel like I'm trying to compress against some fluid there. That is really cool feeling. I like that. It's funny because you can rig it or handbrake in a car. It's just cables. <laughs> it's not hydraulic, but that feels really nice. Oh, I can't wait to get this on the rig. More, more information coming on this as I get it mounted up and run through some laps and some uh, WRC. Alrighty. Alrighty, moving on to the DS8X shifter. Last but not least for sure. Again, nice boxing here, sealed up as well. Break that seal. Again, we're introduced with all of our stickers as well. So we got the uh, mounting pattern. This is an M6 up here on the top of the shifter it's showing. That's good. Lift between gears. You got your sequential and H pattern. Y'all know the deal. Of course, have your cables here again love that they send out high quality cables in magic gear yep nice thick printer cable basically right i forget what this is a uh, a cable i think it's ba oh this is nice look at that all righty 
I'm sure you all have seen this on other reviews. I'm obviously late to this, but it doesn't matter because it's my gear. <laughs> Got your adjuster here to adjust your tension. See what it feels like. That's actually pretty forceful. That feels actually pretty good. Not SQ1 good, but it feels good. Uh, and then you have, of course, this little effect here for reverse when you have it in H pattern. Let me see, let's put it in H pattern here, which is over nicely. This needs to be tight, a knob. That feels good. Really good. Initial impressions, this is pretty nice. It's nice and smooth as far as the shipping mechanism goes. Put it in, cam well, in camera here. It's nice and smooth. It, it pops into gear. That's actually tight. I've seen some uh, where this would be really bouncing back and forth a lot, but it does not just bounce around. So nice and tight. I'm curious if they have reverse threads on this because, oh, they do. Okay. It's normally when you're grabbing gears, you, you tend to roll this shifter. So this is, is mounted just correctly, right? So when you, you're grabbing, you're pulling, you tend to roll this bar off. Now this is just a Delron shifter handle. So obviously you can put, they have other options that you can buy some carbon fiber ones as well. But M6, I think it was said M6 threads. But all in all, it's actually nice. It's a little stealthy looking. I'm ready to mount this up too. Uh, same thing, you got your power here, or your, or, I'm sorry, your USB here, uh, which I will be using it to the CAN bus. And it comes with the hardware, another sticker. What else? Should be empty. And that's it. And I use this for the CAN bus. Alrighty, alrighty. So that was a quick unboxing here. Don't want to keep it too long. Got the uh, H pattern shifter, the hydraulic uh, handbrake, uh, all the accessories that you need as far as cables two brackets, and the, the CAN bus to hook up to my Alpha U. Uh, stay tuned for some more on this. I'll be doing an initial impressions of both of these items. And uh, obviously, of course, I'll be doing a review on that. So again, uh, if you want to check these out, you can go look at Apex Sim Racing here. They have them in stock. A really nice uh, group of people to talk to, as I've said before. Uh, and this actually came really fast. The day that I put the order in was around three o'clock. And then the I got it, of course, in the normal shipping shipping time of like three to four days. But yeah, pretty fast, considering I'm in Texas and from their location. So, yes, check them out. And then, of course, stay tuned to the channel because I'm going to go through these and, and uh, spend some time on these and see form, fit, and feel of them. So stay tuned. All right, check you next time. I'm out.